Core 2, practice paper number 1, question number 7. Now to get the best value from this past paper, you should work through the exam paper before you look at my answers and solutions. Also, you should have the exam paper with you at the same time to check that I've got all the information there. Up until now, question 1 through to 6, everything that appears on the exam paper has appeared on my worksheet. Whereas on question number 7, 8, 9 and maybe 10 as well, but certainly 7, 8 and 9, not all the information appears on my worksheet. So you should have the exam paper in front of you so you can cross-reference and check the information. Right, I'll read this and it says, in the triangle PQR, QP is 7, so that's 7, QR is 9, so on my diagram it doesn't look right because the whole of that is 9, so let's put that in there like that, shall we? Um, where do I get to? QR is 9 and the angle PQR, PQR is 0.65 radians. So we're working in radians this time. So all the information is on the diagram, although it's not written in words on my worksheet. Other than this piece of information on the diagram that didn't look quite right, all of that's nine. It goes on to say PS is an arc of a circle of radius seven centimeters. So that's there and the center is Q. The shaded region T is bounded by the straight lines RP, RS and the arc. So it doesn't say that on my worksheet. So I will say it again. You should have the worksheet with you to check through the wording to get best value. OK, let's make a start on part A. Find the length of PS. So PS is the arc of a circle with that as the centre and 7 that's a radius, so it's a massive, great circle going all the way over the page and over there, right. And because the angle is given to you in radians, you're expected to know this formula, which works out the length of an arc in radians. Some people feel this is so simple, it's got to be wrong, but it really is as simple as this. If you multiply the radius by the angle, measured in radians, that will give you the length of arc. It is as simple as that. Length of an arc is radius times angle measured in radians. And if you do that with or without the calculator, you'll get a nice neat answer, and that is worth two marks. One mark for knowing that bit, and one mark for getting it right. So that's question seven, part A. Question 7, part B. Find the perimeter of the shaded area T. So the perimeter, perimeter required equals PR, or RP, doesn't matter which way around you do it, plus RS, plus PS or SP. Again, writing down a statement so the examiner can see your train of thought, especially if things go wrong, you might get some marks for just writing this down. Don't know what PR is, don't know what RS is, but we can work it out quite simply. The whole of this was 9. That bit is the radius of the circle, so that's got to be 7 as well. So that's nice and simple. And PS, we worked that out in part A as 4.55. Again, it's a calculator paper, and you could even do that in your head. But it's called showing you're working out, it's called telling the examiner what you're doing, it's called keeping your head on the exam clear, so you don't get a pickle got to find PR. Now we have a triangle, a non-right angle triangle, where we've got two sides and the included angle. So that's actually the cosine formula. So PR squared 
Why don't I put that over there? PR squared equals the two sides that include the angle squared. It doesn't matter which one you write down first. Minus, open brackets, 2 multiplied by those two sides multiplied by the cosine of the angle that is included between those two sides. How much of this do you write down now? Well, I think this time I type it all into the calculator. But, what mode is the calculator in? It needs to be in radian mode. And at the moment, mine's in degree mode. So if I use it straight away, it's all going to go sadly wrong. So always check the mode of the calculator when you do any trig ratios. So I need it in radian mode. It's in radian mode, off we go. So we've got 7 squared, 7 squared, plus 9 squared, minus, these brackets are very important when you're using the calculator, 2 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 9, multiplied by the cosine of the angle in radians, which is 0.65, and it is in radians. Close brackets equals... But don't forget that that's PR squared. So therefore PR itself, what do you call that square root is? So let's write and do square root of the answer. It says three sig figs, so let's just write that down. So the perimeter, perimeter of T equals that plus 2 plus 4.55, 11.999, which is therefore 12.0 to three significant figures. That's how much I would write down for the examiner. You could certainly write more, you could certainly write less. Three marks, so it's up to you. A mark for that bit of thinking, a mark for that bit of thinking, and a mark for the answer. So that's question 7, part B. Now this question, in fact, has got another part. It's part A, B and C. So if you want to see the rest of this question, and in fact the whole of this paper, then you need to visit www.mathstutor.biz and look at buying this set of exam papers and set of solution DVDs. Core 2, set 1, papers 1, 2 and 3 can be obtained from www.masstutor.biz and you'll be able to see the rest of this question number 7. Hope to hear from you.